in the name of almighty allah the most beneficent and gracious the king of kings dear students assalamu alaikum this is hayat your english teacher and our today's lecture is on unit number 1 that is antarctica and the south pole dear students i wish we could have your physical classes but this is the de demand of time that we are going for these online lectures because of uh, the covid Uh, 19 this is the third wave of covid 19 and because of uh, that third wave of covid 19 again we have uh, started this series of lectures dear students uh, your first video uh, was made by sir rahat your first lecture was taken by sir rahat i he delivered uh, your first lecture and he talked about your course contents and i hope you have written your course contents in neat notebooks and today we are going to start this unit number 1 that is antarctica and the south pole so dear students what is antarctica have you ever heard about antarctica okay fine let me give you a brief introduction about antarctica clear dear students it is the fifth largest continent of the world clear and if we talk about uh, the discovery of antarctica so it was discovered so dear students this antarctica was discovered in 1820 it was discovered by the two russians during an expedition clear and this antarctica this continent antarctica is covered with snow clear 98% of this continent is covered with snow and life of human beings is not possible on this continent dear students it is the coldest driest and windiest place on the surface of the earth and it is very difficult for human beings to live uh, on that continent clear dear students this antarctica places are there in antarctica where the winds blow at the speed of 120 km per hour clear just imagine 120 km per hour and if we talk about the seasons of antarctica so there are two seasons in antarctica clear south pole is there in antarctica south pole is in antarctica and in the south pole there are just two seasons and the two seasons are summer and winter so dear students in summer if it is summer still over there the temperature is minus 35 degree centigrade in summer clear and in winter it reaches to minus 93 degree centigrade so just imagine how can it be possible to live on this continent clear it is not possible at all clear wildlife is there it is teeming with a wildlife it is full of with wildlife like uh, uh, penguins and seals its uh, whales etc uh, these uh, kinds of uh, animals they can survive in their tough weather condition clear and just scientists go there scientists go there for discovery they go to antarctica for discovery they want to know about antarctica they want to discover new things for that very purpose Uh, airports are built they have uh, built airports over there and they uh, so it is uh, easy for them to uh, go to antarctica before the planes and helicopters it was difficult for the scientists and it took scientists 5 weeks to go to antarctica from australia by boats uh, and now uh, it uh, takes round about 5 hours to go to antarctica clear dear students come to the book side this is your english book clear 
better english extra literacy skills clear book 7 now you should open page number 4 unit number 1 page number 4 that is okay fine students antarctica and the south pole antarctica is a huge continent at the bottom of planet earth the continent is surrounding southern ocean are also known as the antarctic antarctica is bigger than europe but not quite as big as north america it has non native people non native language and no money 98% of antarctica is covered in an ice cap that is on average at least 1.6 km thick not surprisingly it is the coldest driest windiest place on earth going to antarctica is a bit like going into a deep freeze dear students as i have told you that it is the fifth largest continent of the world it is a huge continent clear and i have also talked about the discovery of this antarctica that it was discovered in 1820 uh, clear by the two russians during an expedition and uh, it is uh, bigger than europe clear and it has no native people and no native language just scientists go there and they want uh, to know about uh, antarctica they want to discover new facts about antarctica for that very reason they go to antarctica clear and it is the coldest driest and windiest place on earth going to antarctica is a bit like going into a deep freeze deep freeze means intense cold clear the south pole is in the very middle of antarctica so south pole is also there in the in antarctica clear there are two seasons in the south pole winter and summer just two seasons are there dear students here are just two seasons in the south pole clear south pole is in antarctica and there are two seasons and the seasons are winter and summer clear i have also talked about the temperature of uh, these two seasons clear Some, uh, summer and winter in winter uh, it reaches to uh, 90 plus degree centigrade and in summer it is still freezing clear and the temperature is minus 35 degree centigrade clear during winter ma- uh, the duration of winter is uh, Uh, from march to september clear and it is dark all the time because this south uh, pole is lying away from the sun the other six months are summer still freezing when it is bright 24 hours a day okay fine who wants to live in the coldest windiest driest place on earth penguins seals whales a few types of birds and fish of course dear students it is uh, a place where human beings can not live because it is the coldest place clear a uh, coldest places uh, uh, places are there windiest places are uh, there driest places are there for that very reason human beings can not survive over there and uh, just penguins clear wildlife i am talking about wildlife penguins seals and whales they have the ability to uh, adjust themselves in that sort of uh, environment clear the antarctica is uh, teeming with wildlife that has adopted to living in uh, freezing condition adopted means adjusted they have adjusted themselves to live in their tough environment clear penguins settle together for warmth penguins they get together for warmth clear and whales and seals have plenty of blubber blubber means fatty tissue clear in urdu we say chirbi clear to help to uh, to help prevent them getting cold dear students uh, these whales and seals have a, a, bund, uh, a lot of blubber on it and it can survive 
in the cold weather condition clear plenty means abundance clear prevent means to stop clear okay fine next uh, antarctic airports antarctic airports uh, i have told you that airports are also there clear believe it or not there are quite a few airports in the arctic the most recently opened airport is wilkins runway which is 40 kilometers from the coast work begun on the ice runway in 2005 but was carried out during summer months only because even during uh, the hot season the temperature can be as low as minus 35 degree centigrade The ice runway is 4 kilometers long. Before the use of planes and helicopters, it took scientists 5 weeks to travel from Australia to Antarctica by boat. Clear? They can now get there in less than 5. Okay, fine students. Before the use of planes and helicopters, it took scientists 5 weeks to travel from Australia by boat to Antarctica. they can now get there in less than 5 hours so airports uh, are built over there in antarctica uh, because uh, scientists uh, pay visits to antarctica frequently clear believe it or not there are quite a few airports in the antarctic uh, i have told you airports uh, are there the most recently airport is Wilkins runway Wilkins runway is the most recently airport in Antarctica clear which is 40 kilometers from the coast it is 40 kilometers away from the seashore coast means a seashore or we can say coast means a boundary between land and sea coast means a boundary between land and sea boundary between land and sea clear work began on the ice runway in 2005 but was carried out during summer months only because even during the hot season the temperature can be as low as minus 35 degrees centigrade they uh, just worked on it in summer clear because of the uh, weather condition the ice runway is 4 kilometers long the length of ice runway is 4 kil- uh, kilometer clear before the use of planes and helicopters dear students facilities were not there clear these planes and helicopters were not there so before uh, planes and helicopters the scientists used to go to antarctica by boats clear and uh, they used to take 5 weeks uh, to travel from uh, australia to antarctica clear and now they can go over there easily because uh, facilities are there helicopters are there uh, and planes are there so planes and helicopters are there facilities are there and they can go there easily clear and now they uh, take just 5 hours Uh, to go to antarctica clear okay students so it was all about uh, your unit number 1 antarctica and the south pole i have written some words meanings from this unit for your understanding for your convenience on notebook so i want to discuss those words meanings uh, with you so it would be a bit easy for you to have Uh, a full fledged idea about the lesson clear students these are the words meanings these are the words which i have taken from the same unit from unit number 1 clear native first word we have native native means domestic or local ice cap second word is ice cap ice cap means snow covered clear deep freeze deep freeze means intense cold deep freeze intense cold clear facing away 
facing away means laying away or situated away you can say clear laying laying away teeming 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 means full of teeming full of adopted adopted means adjusted or conditioned both are correct is it convenient to you clear huddle huddle means gathering or get together clear gathering or get together clear warmth so warmth means heat plenty plenty means uh, abundance abundance a lot of clear blubber blubber uh, fatty tissue or uh, i as i discussed uh, in urdu we say charbi clear blubber in urdu we say charbi prevent prevent means to stop clear to stop coast the last word is coast coast means seashore seashore clear coast means the seashore okay fine students it was all about your unit number 1 stay blessed and thank you so much for listening to me